against just about everybody as we begin round number one, especially at 154 pounds. It's been against Ike Cortez, Verno Phillips, Kasim Uma, Alex Bonima, Tony Marshall, fought Pernell Whitaker. Whitaker, who is way past his prime, threw out his shoulder in round number two, could not continue. So Pavorquez, on his resume, has a fourth round TKO over the great Pernell Whitaker. That's right. It's, you know, in the box score, it's just a win. It's a win over a great fighter. You know what? I got to point something out. I don't know if at home you were able to notice this, but Sertuce has a little uh, trademark maneuver he does at the beginning of every round. He kicks the lower rope. When he comes out of his corner, he just did it. Watch for it. Beginning of every round. Now you asked him where he got that from. That's his own little signature. He says that he was impressed by watching Felix Savone, the great Cuban amateur, leap over the ropes, come into the ring. He said, I knew I couldn't do that, so I came up with something else. Well, Jorquez is trying to reinvent himself a little bit. He parted ways with longtime friend and mentor Willie Silva. And he's working now exclusively with Ruben Casnon. Casnon had worked with Silva and Bojorquez, but Bojorquez felt it was time to part ways with Silva. He's added a strength and conditioning coach, and he says the weight has been easy to make. He could get back down to 154. Bojorquez at 159 tonight. He said wild punches by Bojorquez. So much that, for El Elegante. Yeah, he figured that he would add 14 to 15 pounds by yes. doing it the right way. He told us he thought he weighed 175 coming into the ring tonight. The problem with Bojorquez is Zertucci got tagged with a right hand going backward. It's because he goes straight back. It's something that he's done in a lot of his fights. He did it against Zuniga, and it's always danger. And he got hit again with a good right hand. Bojorquez, though, has no hand speed. No. Absolutely not. But he, he's kind of a deliberate fighter, and he's a good puncher with the right hand. He was a better puncher with the right hand before that terrible break. But he still hits pretty well with it, as we see, because he's hurt uh, Zatucci already twice with it. has never been stopped. His two losses have come via decision. But so far in round one, Bajorquez controlling the action. I think Zertucci was surprised by that. I'll tell you why. I think they considered Bajorquez to be a stepping stone for them. A, even though they're only a, a year different in age, certainly Bajorquez is, is more ring-worn. He's had a lot of tough fights, a lot of rounds. I think the uh, Zertucci people thought that this is a guy they could add to their resume pretty easily. Doesn't look like it's going to be that way right now. Well, they both expected the, each other to come straight forward, and they start trading. Here near the end of round number one. Great start to fight night. <laughs> what you would expect from two boxers from Mexico. I guess Bojorquez wanted to make sure he got safely to his corner, so he followed him back. Bojorquez, born in Mexico, moved to the U.S. at the age of 17, 26, 8, and 6, 22 knockouts. He's been knocked out five times. Zertucci, 33 years of age, 18, 2 and 2, 13 knockouts. But a much younger 33 years of age, if I may say that with a straight face. Here's a guy who started boxing as a professional at 28 years old. He stuck around, he tried to make the Olympics in uh, Atlanta and then wound up fighting uh, as an amateur in Sydney in 2000. Stuck around for the extra four years. That set him back away, so he's not, in terms of ring age, nearly as old as you would think a 33-year-old year fighter would be. And here's Bohorka, as you see him, and as, as, as you see Zertucci go straight back, he just keeps moving right into the punching range of Bohorka. very dangerous strategy. And you saw Zertucci there kick that right leg up and get a little piece of that ring rope. Now, something we should watch in this round, because Bohorka has landed so solidly with the right hand in the first round, Zertucci has a tendency to switch up between southpaw and conventional. Let's see if he turns around this round and see if he does a little bit better. Blistering pace in round no one for Bohorquez as he threw over 100 punches in the round. And that is unusual for him. He's usually pretty deliberate early in the fight. Cuts have been a problem throughout Bohorquez's career along both eyes. A lot of scar tissue there. And one of the things that's always hurt Bohorquez is he'll get in, he's got some power, he'll start trading, but his hand speed 
is just not fast enough, and guys start to time it and counter. Right, his nature is to exchange punches. Now, one of the things he told us today was he was going to try to be El Elegante. He was going to try to outbox Satuche for as long as he could and then drop the right hand on him. But you see, halfway through the first round, he fell into the brawl. That's what he likes to do. Hook to the body from Bajorquez. Zatucci kind of leaning in, that could be dangerous. You know, Zatucci showed tendencies against Zuniga last year to be hit. He catches punches, but Zuniga's a faster guy than Bohorquez. I did not think Bohorquez would be able to land as easily as he has this early in the fight. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen Zatucci turn southpaw yet. You know, I don't think him turning southpaw going to really affect Bohorquez that much. He's been in against, you know, everybody. But he does it more for himself. He does it to feel comfortable. He does it to give the guy a different look. In fact, you know, when he fought Zuniga, it was a real tough fight. The only knockdown in the fight came when Zatucci turned southpaw. Landed a straight left hand and knocked the man down. Most of that blocked by Bohorquez's glove. The thing that Bohorquez has been able to do is sort of punch right through Zertucci's defense. Absolutely. I'm, I'm really surprised at how porous his defense has been. By that time, Bohorquez ran into a right hand. the same pace here in round two from Bohorquez as he had in round one when he threw 106 punches, but he still landed a lot of meaningful shots. This is fight night on OLN. All right, here's the fight that Bohorquez said he was going to avoid, but you know what? He enjoys it too much. He really does. You see the two of them exchanging punches there, both pretty effective. Round number three underway for Carlos Bohorquez against Jose Zertucci. Both guys have the same kind of trunks, white trunks with the Mexican colors, so you'll have to look at the belt line. Carlos across the front, Zertucci across the front. That will identify the two. It's difficult. Or well, how about this? We can go. Jorquez is the guy with the mustache. <laughs> All right, that's good when he's facing the camera like he is now. You know, in his corner, they want Bohorquez to double his jab. And he has been using his jab pretty effectively, but if you notice, now Zatucci is starting to turn up the heat a little bit. And he is the younger man. I don't care if there's only a year between them. He is the younger man in terms of ring mileage. And I think that his, his stamina and his, his vigor in being younger is going to stand him in good stead here as the fight goes on. Well, this is... Oh, left hand hurt Bohorquez. And he's going to hold on. He's saving himself from going down there, Bob. His legs are gone right now. This is the 220th professional round for Bohorquez. The 106th for Zertucci. And right now, I'll tell you, Bohorquez is feeling every one of those 220 rounds. He's been stopped five times, mostly on cuts. It's the left hand that keeps hurting him. Through the first two rounds, Bohorquez very busy, landing big shots, and a left hook to the jaw again hurts Bohorquez. He's in deep trouble now. How is he not going down? And he's going to try to hold on. It's getting ugly for El Elegante. Yeah, holding is not in his nature, obviously. I mean, that's, a, that's the last line of defense. Whoa, sneaky right hand by Bohorquez. He is game as they come. Left hands to the jaw. Left hooks. Have keyed Zertucci here in round three. Right to the ear. Right hand from Bohorquez. You know what? This is this goes to the best laid plans of mice and men. You know, Bohorquez thought he was going to outbox Zutucci. Here he is, sucked into Zutucci's fight, and right now not getting the better of it. Not many guys can really reinvent their style at age 34.
He can for a while until things get tough. <laughs> Bohorquez fires a couple at the end of the round. But a good round for Jose Zertucci. He hurt Carlos Bohorquez several times in that third. Zertuchito, lo tenías noqueado. Y por no hacer la simple de uno, dos y tres, lo dejaste ir. ¿Por qué lo dejaste ir? ¿Querés meterle un volado para noquearlo? No. Uno, Miguel dos, Diaz, tres. the cut man, is doing okay. most of the talk. Si lo tenía justo para pretty good voice to have in your corner. Don't stay there. Relax. Everything good. Deep breath. Deep breath. He's going to move his head right now. Relax. Relax. Take a deep breath. Hey, wait. Keep it loud. It's an action-packed third round that we just saw. And there's that left hook, a good, short, sharp left hook by Zatucci that started it off here. He poured in a couple more as the round went on. But I'll tell you what, Bojorquez is as game as they come. Still firing back at the end of the round. Round number four underway. So let's see how Bohorquez responds after getting rocked. It's amazing, Wally, that he did not go down. Now he's a strong, tough guy, very seasoned, been through all this before. Oh, beautiful counter right. See, I think you put your finger on it early in the fight, Bob. Bohorquez trying to keep the fight under control with his jab, but he's just too slow. And I think that Zatucci now has got him timed. He sees that right. You just watch. He's going to watch that jab a couple of times, and then boom, the right hand's going to come over the top. It's really the problem that in that first round, the way Bohorquez's right hand, the way Bohorquez went after Zertucci, I mean, he was hurting him, but it looked like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. It just wasn't fast. No, it wasn't fast. And, you know, you, you can't really hurt a guy with punches he can see. And I guarantee you that Zertucci is seeing every punch. Mentioned Zertucci, a bit of a businessman in Mexico, owns a gym called the Zertucci Olimpico. He's a hero in his hometown, being a former Olympian. Mm -hmm. And he's been working a lot with young kids, giving them free boxing lessons. It's an interesting guy. Aspirations outside the ring. As I said, he's an entrepreneur with some corn on the cob stands. Right now, you know, for Hortez, he's keeping him at bay with some pretty light punches there. And I don't know if Satucci's just taking a rest or if he's trying to set up one big shot. He switched southpaws. Yes, he did. did. Been waiting for that. So Bohorquez switches southpaw. Yes. It's when in Rome or when in Orleans. I'm not a big proponent of that. If that's not a comfortable style for you, I don't see why you would try to mimic a guy doing that. It's natural for Satuki. It's not natural for Bohorquez. Maybe that added conditioning, kind of reshaping his body, has helped Bohorquez a little bit, too, as far as handling some of this. Well, it looks like he's in great shape, and he has recovered. I mean, he seems as fresh now as he did early in the fight. Final seconds of the fourth, the slowest bit of action to this point in what has been a trade show. Take a look at this. It's a pretty right hand from Zatucci. Look at that. Beautiful. Right on the chin. But Bohorquez takes it well, and he gets nailed with another one. Zatucci found that he could land that over Bohorquez's left. Round five commences. Scheduled for ten. Bohorquez with the mustache and Carlos across the waistband. Zatucci with Mexico across the back of his waistband and Zatucci across the front. Zatucci's the one with the tattoo. See that? You found a whole bunch of identifying yeah. characteristics. Zatucci is also the guy landing the lead right hand whenever he feels like throwing it. Like there. He's tattooing Bohorquez. Those were clean shots. Left hook, right hand. 
The Hortus game as they come. Good chin standing up under it. Corner of Tucci imploring him, at least from what my Spanish can identify, is they throw the right hand. Why not? Work. It's, it never. It seems to never miss. Bohorka has controlled the first two rounds. The second two rounds, Zertucci controlled Bohorka. Bohorka was hurt in the third. Zertucci hurt in the first. And right now, El Elegante giving him a little movement, going side to side. This is the fight he said he was going to fight. And there's that right hand again from uh, Zatucci. But the, what we see over and over again, Bob, is when fighters get tagged, they go back to their original nature. And Bohorquez's original nature is to be a brawler. Now, Bohorquez is a, is a smart guy. And he doesn't have great hand speed, but if Zatucci keeps rounding up with those right hands and flailing away, Bohorquez is going to time one of them. Most of that block. A little backhand action with the right hand there from Carlos. Satucci breathing kind of heavy right now. See that? Some heavy breathing from Satucci. He's the man with his back to the ropes. Let's see if Borges uh, can capitalize on it here. Now he lets his man off. Final seconds of round five. Zertucci and Bohorquez continue to trade. It's fight night on OLN. It is fight night on OLN. Bob Hoppe, Wally Matthews, ringside from the Orleans in Las Vegas. Brian Valoria in our main event tonight defends his WBC light flyweight championship against Omar Nino in the ring right now. Carlos Bohorquez and Jose Zertucci in what has been an action-packed fight. Zertucci hurt in round one. Bohorquez controlled the first two rounds. Zertucci nearly had Bohorquez out in round number three, but Bohorquez never went down. He continued to pound him in round four. Round five, Bohorquez sort of steadied the ship a little bit. Yeah, I think he's got his legs back under him now, and uh, I think we can settle in here for a little while. Oops, and as soon as I said that, Four solid shots from Zertucci and another one. Bohorquez has more than doubled up Zertucci's punch output in the fight. Flubbing away, left hand scored to the chin. Right now, Bohorquez's oh. hands are down and he's just wide open. That left hand again finds the chin, the left hook. I think Robert Bird was on the verge of stopping stop, this stop, fight. Stop, stop, And then changed his mind. Well, he, I think he might have saved a knockdown. At nice. <laughs> Something happened there that was certainly not in the script. But Bohorquez, he can take a shot. He's taken way too many of them. I'm not saying that the fight should be stopped because it shouldn't. But he's, his hands are down too low and he's getting hit cleanly a lot. He's got to make an adjustment. How do you have it scored, by the way, through the first five? You're going to think I'm nuts, but I got Bohorquez around the head because right, I gave him the two. first two and I gave him the fifth. All right, you and I are in agreement, so we're both nuts. You've got to be wrong. I do give points for gameness. That's one of my, my soft spots. Box, 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 box. Robert Bird, the referee, asking him to box. I think he take a little breather. Left hand again finds the mark from Zertucci. He's got somebody's mouthpiece in his hand, and he's had it for about 30 seconds now. I'm not sure. I think it's Zertucci. Right now, Zatucci is just laying on the ropes. He's giving Bohorquez time here to score some points. This is the way you steal rounds. Hasn't been a lot to separate the two fighters here. And right now, you see Zatucci is either very tired or playing possible. 
Either way, he's not doing himself any good. Natucci started the round well, but Jorquez trying to finish it. Papa, Wally Matthews, some action from round six. And you see, there's that short left hook again by Zatucci. Landed it twice, then spent a lot of time on the ropes. No, see the stagger. Well, Hork has a little bit there, but then spent a lot of time on the ropes and led him back into the fight. And Wally, that lack of activity near the end of the round by Zatucci, I think creates probably the first toss-up round as far as you saw it for Bohorquez. I kind of waited what I saw earlier in the round well, and gave the round to Zertucci. I have a confession to make. All right. I did tell you that I gave it to Bohorquez off camera. However, I rewound the tape in my head of that round, and I remembered that there was that section there where I thought Robert Bird was thinking about stopping the fight, and I changed my scorecard. So I have it for Zertucci as well. Okay. All right. Just in the interest of full disclosure. The, the, I don't think the judges rewind the tape in their head. I think they just scored at the end of the round. Well, you know, I think as much consideration as you can put into your decision, you should. Will, will Bohorquez make Zertucci pay for some of these wild flailing attempts? You know, the thing is, he used to be a good puncher with his right hand. I don't see a lot of sting on his punches tonight, even though he's landed a lot of punches, and I thought he had Zertucci a little shook in the first round. Doesn't seem to be a up, lot behind up, Carlos, Carlos Bohorquez's punches. You know, it almost looks like Wally kind of slaps with yeah. the right hand. I know. He told us that he can hit as hard as he wants with that right hand. We saw the knuckle in the beginning. We showed you uh, what that right knuckle looks like. I can't imagine he can make a tight fist with that hand. <laughs> Corner of Bohorquez pleading with him to double the jab. He's pretty tired right now. I, I'm not sure he's capable of doubling anything right now. Or singling. Well, Bohorquez has always talked about his growing up in Mexico as a youngster. His grandma and aunt had a farm, and they had hundreds and hundreds of goats. He's got his own pet goat in Mira Loma, California that he milks every morning and drinks the goat milk to give oh, him strength man. and power. Do he's I have to know this? He's going to need some spinach from Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> he always said that was his secret potion, his edge. Uh, maybe, he maybe. Mil milks the cow every morning for his goat milk. He milks the goat. I mean, he milks the goat, excuse me. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe the goat wasn't available this morning. He just looks tired right now. Gigi's not doing a whole heck of a lot. No, he's not. But you know what? Fighters do that. One guy backs off, the other guy backs off. Closing seconds of the seventh round scheduled for 10. It's been a good one between Bohorquez and Zertucci here on OLN's Fight Night. Oh. Round number eight for Zertucci and Bohorquez. As these two have played Rock'em Sock'em Robot at least through the first six rounds. Pace slowed down a bit in round number seven. And Zertucci just greeted Bohorquez again at the beginning of the round with that right hand. Did it again. That is the punch he cannot seem to miss with. And now he's turned southpaw because he realizes the right hand is right there to be landed again and again. I'll tell you what, when Satucci turns southpaw, he can double hook with that right hand as good as he can with his left hand. He's a natural right-hander, and you would think the double hook would come more naturally to him with his left hand, but he does it equally well with both hands. To the numbers in round seven, Bohorquez more than doubling up Zertucci as far as punch output. Percentage was low, but he was busier. Yeah, but he's, a lot of his punches, he's just laying them out nice and easy. He's kind of tired. He's not putting a lot behind them. He's staying busy. Oh. The left hook was just a little short. Not the right hand, though. That hurt for Jorquez. And he goes down. Cuatro, cinco. And that's it. Robert Bird stops it here in the eighth. Stops it wisely, I might add. I mean, that was it. You got an exhausted fighter who certainly was hurt, as you called it, by the right hand just before the punch that dropped him. Jose Zertucci.
gets his 14th stoppage. He represented Mexico in the 2000 Olympic Games. Hard competition against Carlos Bojorquez. And Bojorquez took a lot of punishment. Left hand started it, and then a right hand to that left cheek. Well, they're happy with the win over there, but I'm sure when they look at the tape, they're going to say, you know what, you could have made this fight a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, he did a very good job and did what he had to do. I would, my big concern with him would be the amount of punches he got hit with. Took a lot of punches from a guy who, you know, is not a speed demon, and he's still down. Carlos Bohorquez is still down. Oh, his eyes are open. That's a good sign. I'm going to take a look at the end of the fight. There's a left hand and then a right. Left, and then watch this right, Wally. There's a big right. Here it is. And then there's another right. It kind of grazes the top of his head. Oh, and it's actually the left hook to the body that finished him off, but he was ready to go. Yeah, that, that roundhouse right it was the big shot. A couple of lefts, and then watch this right. Boom. Yeah, right that, was, that was the real damaging punch. And then here's the left hook to the body. just kind of sends him down because he had no legs left. That was it. So and he's still down. Yeah, well, he got whacked in the ribs pretty good. And they're getting him up now. And Zertucci celebrates the victory. So for the time of the stoppage, let's send it up to our ring announcer, Michael Buffer. Before I give the official time, how about a round of applause for this young man who knows nothing but the will to win. He never quit for a minute. Carlos Bojorquez. The official time, referee Robert Bird calls a halt at 1 minute 25 seconds of round number 8. The winner by TKO victory, Jose Luis de Rtuche. So Jose Zertuche, win number 19, his 14th stoppage. He survived some danger early in the fight, was hurt in round number 1. But he was able to Las Vegas, the Orleans Arena. Bob Papa, Wally Matthews, Carlos Bojorquez, Jose Zertucci finished with their bout. Zertucci a winner. He's with Wally Matthews. Thanks, Bobby. I'm here with Jose Luis Zertucci, the winner tonight over Carlos Bojorquez. Uh, we got Ricardo Jimenez to translate for us. Ask him if it was a tougher fight than he expected. Una pelea más difícil de lo que esperabas. Claro que sí, ya que es un peleador muy fuerte. No pensé que aguantara tanto, pero. Yo estaba haciendo mi juego y sabía que eh, cualquier momento iba a caer porque le estaban entrando muy fuerte las manos arriba. Pero fíjate qué chistoso que el chavo cayó con un golpe abajo, ¿no? You know, I kept throwing those big shots in, uh, in uh, towards his head, and he kept taking all the punishment I was giving him. And the first one I landed underneath, he went down. You know, especially in the third round, it seemed that he had him hurt and almost out. Was he surprised that he was able to take as much punishment as he did? In the third round, you lost him a little bit. It seemed that he was going to go, but he didn't go. He held a lot. As I'm going to repeat it, it's a name that held a lot up there, because I gave him my best shots up there. But look, how interesting that, as the saying is, here in Mexico, he hit him down, that his head fell down, and that's what I did. With one single hit that he gave him down, with that, he was able to... Para que él quedara ahí tirado en la lona. You know, I threw a lot of combinations upstairs, and you know, he, I, I saw him hurt a few times, but you know, he kept taking those big shots in the head. But I guess, like you say, you have to hit the tree, you know, it falls by itself. Yeah, now on the other hand, he seemed to have you, I don't know if he was hurt or off balance in the first round. How serious was that? Te lastimó en el primer round, como estabas fuera de balance cuando te conectó. Sí, sentí sus impactos muy fuertes. No me lastimó. Yo estaba haciendo mi juego. Yo soy de esos peleadores que a veces. Necesita sentir uh, de qué calibre es el, el rival para saber yo qué trabajo poder emplear a través de la pelea. Y era un hombre que pega muy fuerte y, y sí varias veces me conectó en la cabeza, pero tenía muy fuerte. You know, I, I do. I'm one of those guys that I guess I need to be hit to see how big, how, how strong the other guy is. And he caught me, he, I felt his punches, no doubt about it. All right, so what is he ready for next? Ask him if he thinks he's ready to go up to a title shot or just another upgrade in, in opposition at this point. Está listo, que es lo que sigue. 
Uh, pues yo estoy esperando la oportunidad buena, pero eso ya lo decidirá mi, mi representante, que es Fernando Beltrán, a quien yo le agradezco el apoyo que me está dando. Y, y bueno, yo lo único que le pido es que me dé un poquito más de seguimiento, ya que estamos un poquito parados, pero yo, yo, yo quiero que él vea que estamos en óptimas condiciones. Y si me quieren traer para acá, yo estoy dispuesto a, a hacer lo que ellos me digan con tal de, de yo buscar pronto una oportunidad mundial. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking of a world title, but, you know, I know I, I, all I need is just to uh, fight. I need a lot of fights. If I have to come to the States and spar and work out here, that's what I'll do. But I'm looking for that title shot. All right, well, he was certainly in a fight tonight. Jose Luis Artucci, winner over Carlos Bojorquez. Back to Bob at ringside.